welcome to Model Kit Stuff uh, and in today's Focus on Tools video we'll be taking a look at this Frisket Film. So Frisket Film is effectively um, a masking material um, and it is widely used by artists, particularly airbrush artists, for masking their pieces of work uh, as they do multiple layers of uh, spray painting. Now, the film itself is actually um, a clear, and in this case, matte, although you can, uh, can get a gloss finish, um, although I prefer the matte, and I'll show you why in a moment. Um, so this is it here. It comes on a large roll, uh, and it com comes in different sizes. Um, so this is a 10-foot roll, but you can get all the way up to 25-foot um, of this and you can get it in um, slightly different widths I think as well but the smallest roll I find is plenty um, so yes um, frisket film um, it's on a, a grid back so it's easy to cut out um, certain, certain amounts squares um, if you wish and um, because it's in one continuous roll, the size of the job is irrelevant, whereas other masking sheets can be a little bit limited when it comes to their size. Now, fris frisket film um, is, um, like I say, comes in matte or, or gloss, but I prefer the uh, matte, and I will show you why. I'm going to use my friend here uh, to demonstrate uh, frisket film. So it's easy to cut, you can cut it with scissors, you can cut it with a knife, and we're just going to cut a section out here. And you can see how easy that is to cut. Get that out of the way. So once you've got yourself a, a section of, of the uh, film, you can then do what you want with it because um, it's got... Um, this backing on it, unlike ordinary tape where you've got to take it off the roll and then once you've taken it off the roll, as you're handling it, you're actually removing some of the adhesiveness of the tape. Um, you can handle this as much as you like until you're ready to actually apply it as a film. So if, for example, you wanted a particular shape, you can then spend time getting that particular shape drawn up um, so that you can then cut it with much more detail and accuracy than um, maybe you would have been able to do if you were using tape or ordinary film. So I'm just using a gyro cut here to show you how easily this cuts. Go. So I can cut shapes with it, no issues at all. Now the covering, the actual tape that you use for masking is a vinyl, a very, very fine vinyl, much thinner than the vinyl uh, paint masks that you might um, buy as in aftermarket or even get included in some aircraft kits for canopies. It's very, very fine. Um, and as a result, you can get a very nice, sharp, masked edge with this. Um, it also has the benefit of being clear. So once you've got it on your model, like I have here, you can just about see the shine there. And this has been on for a week. Um, once you've got it on your model, you can then continue to trim it if you like. So uh, let's take, for example, you wanted to remove this top bit along the panel line edge and make sure you've got a nice perfect edge rather than cutting it and applying it up to the edge you can actually apl apply it on and because it's so thin it needs very little pr pressure from a sharp blade to cut through that so you're not actually really damaging your work um, and then like I say this has been on for a week and you can then lift that off you can see there's no residue 
uh, it doesn't leave any tack, it's not lifting any paint, um, so it's just a really great product. In fact, what you can do is cover the whole of your wing and then draw your masking pattern on and remove the bits that you don't want, putting them back on later um, as, you, as you paint through. So it has a lot of really good uses um, and I found uh, camouflage patterns is definitely so one. When you're ready to use it and you're happy with the shape you've got, you just peel it off its backing and you can apply it to where you want to mask. Um, and you can reapply it as many times as you like. The adhesive on the tape performs really, really well. Um, and it doesn't lose its stickiness. And I could do this all day long and it just keep doing it. And you can see we're not lifting any paint, we're not causing any issues. Um, if I press it down, still doesn't lift any paint. So it's a really great product. So I find it a very helpful product. And I don't use it all the time. Um, I, I do like to use tape, but actually the cost of this is much, much lower than ordinary masking tape. When you consider the amount you get, um, a roll of this might cost you uh, somewhere between eight to 10 pounds in the UK. Um, and when you consider how much you get, um, and it'll last you a long, long time, it's a good investment. As with anything, there are some disadvantages of this tape. So you have to think about which um, jobs this will be suitable for and won't be suitable for. It is slightly less flexible than masking tape is. So I can take this piece of masking tape, for example, I can put it on um, and then I can go in and I can um, indent all those panel lines to try and make sure it's all nice and sealed and the paint's not going to get underneath it. Uh, and that's easy to do with tape because the flexibility of it is quite forgiving. With frisket tape, that's a little bit more uh, difficult, I'll show you. Um, it, the tape is not as forgiving, and as much as you can do the indentations, um, if you leave it over time, it will, they will pop back out. So I do find that you have to work fairly quickly with it. So if we take this, for example, and I've just pushed it into the uh, panel lines here, and if we take a little bit of paint, and just compare the performance of two. You can see that there is a little bit of leaching underneath the frisket tape so you do have to be thoughtful about the job um, and it beh behaves better under spray paint than it does under brush paint. So I find that um, the frisket masking tape uh, or masking film uh, works much better with airbrush painting than it does brush painting. Uh, I don't know whether it's because it's um, so low tack or, or what it is but when you brush paint um, you do tend to get a little bit of creep underneath, um, whereas with airbrush um, that, that tends to be less the case. As you, as you can see where we've just airbrushed, you get a really nice crisp line. So there you have it, Frisket film. Definitely worth considering uh, purchasing this if you do a lot of uh, masking. It does have some really 
helpful uses. It's not something I use all the time and certainly doesn't replace masking tape um, altogether. You will have jobs that this just isn't quite suited for. Um, but there you go. Is it an essential tool? Uh, no. Um, there's lots of different ways of, of masking things. Um, is it a nice to have tool? Definitely. Um, it can really reduce how much you spend on masking tape because this is a fair amount cheaper um, and it has such flexibility that you might find you use it more than you anticipated. So there you have it. Um, Frisket film you can usually buy in art shops. Um, it's not something that's difficult to get hold of. Um, hope that was useful. Take care everyone and I will see you soon.